I'm never gonna stop the rain by complaining Because I'm free Nothing's worrying me ask Linda to marry me. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Yeah, it's gonna be so cute that I'm gonna put the ring in the champagne glass and when we toast she's gonna see it and, and then the band will start to play and... Mom, what's wrong? Sit down, sweetie. When I died, you were given the ability to see me, to help you deal with the grief. Yeah? Back then, you were a kid who needed guidance in his life, especially since you had no one left. I'm not following. Marriage is too much of a responsibility for a kid. So when you ask Linda to marry you, you will lose the ability to see me, because you won't need me anymore. Oh. Okay, then I'll just ask Linda to marry me later. But maybe I'm jumping the gun. What if Linda's not the one? Quinn, you know she's the one. Go, live your life, start a family, be a father. No, no, I, I, I'll i wait. What if I'm really not ready? I'll, no, I'll wait. But at what cost? How much longer are you going to wait to let me go? I can't do this without you. Yes, you can. How can you take on the responsibility of marriage if you're still a kid? I can't lose you, Mom. Not again. Quentin, I am in awe of the astonishing man you've become. And your father would be just as proud. But if he knew that visiting me would mean losing the love of your life. You would never want that. Can I just have a little more time? That's up to you, Quinn. But what I want, what any mother would hope for, is that one day you get to have a child of your own. And then you know how much I truly love you, my beautiful boy. I will always 